Hello and welcome to Lord of Facts. Never before has the possibility of human extinction seemed so near. In an era of global pandemics, potential for World War III and increased social and political tensions, the doomsday clock is the closest it's been to midnight in its entire 75 year history, at 100 seconds to midnight. When the clock was first introduced back in 1947, it was set at seven minutes to midnight. They say you die twice, one time when you stop breathing, and the second time, a bit later on, when someone says your name for the last time. The same thing could be said about this entire species. A species goes extinct twice, one time when all its members have perished, and a second time, way, way later, when the last evidence of its existence has disappeared. So how long would the signs of mankind's existence be around for in such a scenario? If humans were to go extinct, or if everyone were to disappear tomorrow, what evidence of humanity's existence would remain? For how long could alien visitors who stumbled upon our planet be able to gaze upon our ruined and florid covered cities and megastructures? <laughs> For this video, we'll go with the everyone disappearing tomorrow scenario, so that none of our monuments have been destroyed in any kind of war. In just 25 years, desert cities like Las Vegas will be completely buried under the sand. Around the same time, 75% of our planet's cities will be covered in plants. And even after the 40 years, radiation from our radios and phones will still be travelling through the vacuum of space. In 100 years, our wooden buildings and structures will be completely destroyed due to there being a lack of firefighters as well as no protection from decay. Within 200 years, an accumulation of ice and thaw will cause concrete and stone pavements to crack as well as many walls. And in 300 years, suspension bridges will collapse and tumble into the waters around them. Mega cities made of steel and glass would stay around for significantly longer. Even though the buildings of these cities will have been consumed by nature and home to various wild animals, it will take 7,000 to 10,000 years before they completely disappear. Roads will also last a fairly long time, with it being potentially 5,000 years before they're completely destroyed. Copper roofs can have a lifespan of over 100 years and could potentially last 1,000 years. The visible parts of the Statue of Liberty are mostly made of copper. Exposure to the wind, rain and sun have given the statue its greeny colour. The structure's insides are made from an iron skeleton which can withstand strong winds. In this scenario, stone buildings would last for many millennia, as stone is one of the least reactive materials, lasting at least 10 millennia. It's believed the Great Pyramids will last for millions of years if left untouched. However, natural disasters such as earthquakes could decrease the potential lifespan of these monuments over time. One of Earth's longest lasting landmarks would be Mount Rushmore. Mount Rushmore is composed of granite. Granite has an erosion rate of one inch per 10,000 years, meaning it would take 7.2 million years before the faces became unrecognisable. At which point you could still make out their basic head shapes carved into the rock. Bronze structures will also be around for an extremely long time, with their chemical composition resulting in them remaining recognisable for over 10 million years. However, the man-made material that would last the longest is plastic. With plastic, we've quite literally carved out an entire layer into our planet's geological record. In millions of years, if aliens come to our small blue marble and dig deep into our rocks, they'll find this layer of plastic many miles below the surface, as we've already created enough plastic to cover the earth many times over. Many geologists believe we've made such an impressive impact on our planet that our species deserves its own epoch known as the Anthropocene. A common starting point for the Anthropocene is around 1950 when our species started blowing up nuclear bombs all over the world. The act of blowing up all these bombs has released elements into our atmosphere, which will be remnant in our planet's geological record 
for many millions of years, along with our bones and teeth. Burning fossil fuels like coal, oil and natural gas will also have a lasting effect, scattering tiny bits of soot all over Earth's surface that will be detectable for millions of years. But now, instead of looking at what would be left behind on Earth, let's explore humanity's impact in space. Join me in part two as I discuss the probes, satellites and signals that may outlive our monuments and species. Thanks for watching.